Hi, I'm Peter Reitner, Application Engineer for Megit Sensing Systems. Today I will demonstrate how to use Megit's vibration monitoring products to verify the operation of standard industrial sensors and cables in the field. I will be using the Reference Mate handheld shaker and the Machinery Mate vibration meter to test a properly calibrated sensor and compatible cable. The Wilcoxon Research sensor we will be testing today is the 786A General Purpose IEPE powered sensor. Start by mounting the sensor on the handheld shaker by threading the included mounting stud into the base of the sensor, following the appropriate mounting torque recommendation. Then, using the free end of the mounting stud, screw the sensor onto the shaker by hand tightening only. Finally, use the appropriate cable assembly to connect between the sensor and the Mac 800. You are now ready to take a reading. The reference mate can operate at three different frequencies, 61.4, 100, or 159.2 Hz. All three frequencies maintain a steady 1G test level and either RMS or peak output. Since the Mac 800 measures acceleration in G's RMS, we will begin by shaking the sensor in RMS mode at 61.4 Hz. As you can see on the bottom right of the screen, the MAC meter has measured the acceleration at approximately 1 G. Any slight variations, in this case 0.022 G, can be attributed to tolerance buildup through the shaker and sensor. The expected value of 1 G will be recorded by the MAC 800 at all three frequencies when using RMS output. For 100 Hz, you see the MAC meter reads 1.020 G. For 159.2 Hz, the MAC 800 reads 1.016 G. Peak output can also be accomplished at all three frequencies. Switch to peak mode by holding down the frequency button. Now take another reading with the MAC 800. This time, you should see a value of approximately 0.707 G. The reason for this is the mathematical relationship between the RMS and peak of a sine wave. The handheld shaker is generating a 1G signal in peak output, but the MAC 800 is still measuring an RMS form. Thus, the expected value of the acceleration measured is 0.707G. Again, any variation, in this case 0.017G, comes from tolerance stack up. Megit's handheld monitoring solutions offer an inexpensive, easy, and efficient way of testing sensors and cables in the field without causing costly calibration or shutdown. If you do not obtain expected values, you may want to troubleshoot your sensor and cable assembly for any installation errors. If none are found, contact the manufacturer. For more information on any of the products shown today, please visit www.wilcoxon.com. Thanks for tuning in.